Hey guys, good morning. It's your girl Secret D with today's strawberry letter response. So the title of the letter is He Wants to Be Buried Next to His Mom. This lady writes in, she said that her and her husband have been married for 30 years. She said, she said, so naturally her and her husband are trying to figure out basically end of life preparation. She said that her husband says that he wants to be buried next to his mama. So she said that the main goal of this was to make sure that their two adult daughters don't have any debt or anything um, after they're gone. So <clears throat> she said in discussing this with her husband, her husband told her that he already had a will because about 15 years prior, their parents, his parents were preparing and making their wills and his father told him to make one, so he did. He told her that it slipped his mind and he just never told her that he did it. So, um, she said, he also said jokingly, like one time she said something about, um, she killed him if whatever, whatever. And he said, oh, well, when you do, just make sure you bury me next to my mom. So she always thought it was a joke, but now she's saying that she notices that he's not joking. So she saw the will that he forgot to tell her he made. And she said that on the third page, he has it specifically laid out that he needs to be buried next to his mom. So, of course, as his wife, she feels some kind of way because her husband has made preparations already to be buried next to his mom and not her. She says she knows that he's a mama's boy. He's always been a mama's boy, but she feels some type of way. And she wants to know if she's wrong for feeling some type of way. Like, is it no big deal, or should she, you know, does she have a right to feel the way she feels? Now, this is one of those interesting things that, I mean, you gotta care to actually care, you know what I mean? Personally, I wanna be cremated, and I don't know, I, I don't wanna be buried, right? So, I guess that's that's the thing. So, you, you have to respect somebody's wishes. Um, when you're dead, you're dead. So unfortunately there's really nothing you can do about it you can't talk to anybody you are literally just buried next to them so the fact that he wants to be buried next to his mom i, I guess it, it is what it is i personally wouldn't feel no type of way about it um but you do i can't say your feelings are not valid but i just i can't say that i don't care enough to see an issue you know what I mean I do get it because obviously your mom is going to be buried next to his mom's going to be buried next to her husband and he's going to be on the other side so it's just like okay well even your parents want to be buried next to each other but you still see no reason to be buried next to me your wife then yeah I, I can get how you would feel some type of way but again I don't care enough to have like really strong feelings about it because I don't think it's that serious if I'm being honest. So, I wouldn't stress it if I were you. But, you know, it is what it is. The decision's already been made. He's paid for the plot. And so, like, really, what are you going to do? Like, oh, get a refund? I don't know if that's a refundable type of purchase. Um, he did not discuss it with you before because he doesn't care about your opinion about where he wants to be laid to rest. So, he just cares that he's next to his mother, which he will be. And that's it. So, I think you should just leave this one alone. Because what is he going to do? Y'all just going to fight more. He's not going to change his mind because he still wants to be next to his his um, his um mom. Excuse me. So, I say you just leave it. Cut your losses and make your plans. Or see if there's a plot close by or whatever. Or I guess maybe make your, make your own plans to be buried next to your kids i don't know but either way like i said i don't care enough to care care um like i you're entitled to how you feel i always say that people are entitled to their feelings so if you feel some type of way about it then that's how you feel and obviously he already made up his mind so it's one of those things that you you can say how you feel which i feel like it's good to express how you feel but there's nothing you can do about it so just make a solution that kind of works you've been mad for 30 years so I'm not sure if there's a reason he just didn't tell you when he did it 15 years ago. Maybe he knew it was going to be an issue, so he kept it to himself. But it's been 15 years, so 
it is what it is you just gotta kind of figure out how to work around it and find a solution that works for you both y'all let me know how you feel about it but this is one of those things that's just like lady y'all